So back in the spring of 2001, I was backstage getting ready to speak uh, at a convention for about 5,000 people and Mark Victor Hansen was back there and I had known Mark for a while. He was on our board at Gove Seabold Group uh, starting back in 1997. And uh, so I was doing pretty well in the business. I had just cracked a million dollars uh, and you know, my first five years basically. And I was ready to write a book. And so Mark, of course, Chicken Soup for the Soul, sold you know 500 million copies, whatever crazy number. So I said to Mark right before he was going on stage and I was going on stage afterwards, and I said, Mark, I said, can you give me some advice? You sold more books than, you know, <laughs> <laughs> than, than the Bible. I said, um, can you give me some advice on writing a book? And it was funny because he only had a couple of minutes before he was going on. And I talked to him about this years later and he totally forgot this conversation even happened because obviously people ask him for, you know, book advice all the time, but it meant something really major for me um, and just a normal day for him. But I said, can you give me some advice? He said, yeah. And I, I remember this like it was yesterday. He said, think when you're thinking of books going forward, and this is 20 plus years ago, he said, I mean, think about writing books going forward in the future. He said, think USA Today. And I said, what does that mean? He said, short chapters, four color, blocks, modules, little, little vignettes, um, chapters that stand on their own. They have their own heart, their own lungs. They breathe and live on their own. They're not connected necessarily to other chapters. Makes them easier to digest more, uh, you know, easier for sales teams to, to use them, different groups of people that you might speak to. He said, that's the future of publishing. And boom, he went on stage. And I wrote the notes down and I thought, I'll build my entire first book on exactly what he said. Why would I not take Mark Victor Hansen's advice? And so I did. And the book sold 20,000 copies in the first, um, the first about three months or so. Uh, and uh, went on to sell over a million copies over a period of time, you know, years, and still sells every day. It's in seven languages. It's called The 177 Mental Toughness Secrets of the World Class. And I've written 11 books since then, but, but that's one of my most popular books. And it all came from that one conversation with, with Mark Victor Hansen. Funny enough, we were, Mark and I were both at Bob Proctor's 80th birthday party at the Bellagio in Vegas back in 2014, I think it was. And I shared the story with him. He said, I don't remember that. And I said, well, it was a two minute conversation, a long time ago, you get that question all the time. He goes, well, send me a check uh, since you sold so many books. So, but not only did that book sell, you know, a fair amount over, over time, you know, um, but we used that book, that core book. Larry Wilson, another mentor taught me to write a core first book that espouses and, and, and details all your major philosophies for your life. And if, you want to, your stories. I didn't put stories in mine, but you can put stories in yours. I recommend that looking back. But these are the core philosophies, your beliefs, your, your strategies that made you successful in whatever you've been successful at. And that becomes the core. That 177 book became the core of our coaching, consulting, and corporate speaking business, which, which grossed you know tens of millions of dollars over, over the years. And it all came from that one book, which stemmed from a conversation backstage for around two minutes with Mark Victor Hansen. Pretty amazing, huh? You just never know.